What's up, good people? It's your host, Barry Bonds. I'm with my co host, Pappy Black Game Beats. What up? And this is the Smoke Talk Podcast. What's going on, fellas? What's the word, man? It's happening. It was happening. Choked on this cigar right here. I pulled on this. <laughs> What's the word, man? Yeah, that one right there, vibrant, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done jumped out now. This is a. Uh, how you say that? A camera room? Yeah, it's in the camera room. So. The champagnes. Oh, man. This camera room right here is serious. That's for them smokers that like to really, really go somewhere else. <laughs> they should sit there and have a little drink and go somewhere else for a minute. Yes, sir. What's going on with y'all? How's everything? Everything good, man. Mm. Man, we back up in here. Yep. Smoke Talk Podcast. Oh man, listen, I'm what's telling this, you. What's this, 13? Episode 13. Okay. Word we up. on here. We rolling. Season 1, episode 13. We moving. Mm. You know, making it through everything. Trials, tribulations. Still getting money, still living. Still flexing on them, man. What's the word? Everybody good? Straight, man. Yeah, just better days, man. Better days. Just lost again. Yeah, hey, man. Let's Raiders, Raiders lost too, man. Oh my God, big loss. Listen, you don't even want to talk about the loss. We we taking loss. all types of losses, man. Big but loss. first, I want to start with the uh, prayers for Hitman Holler and his uh, his lady. Yeah, prayers up for Senator. Say a man. prayer for that. Y'all don't know he had a home invasion. He wasn't there. His lady was there by herself. No, end up man. in. A, she ended up shooting out with the guys. Big shit. Much love to her for standing down. And uh, she got shot in the in the cheek, and it went out the back of her head. But she survived, and they said she's gonna make it. So blessings to him. She threw the peace sign up earlier. That was dope. Yeah, yeah. Shout blessings. out to him, man. Prayers for her, her, uh, her speedy recovery, and, and, and prayers to Hitman for Hitman for his peace. Yes, and for his sanity, man. It's a cold world out here, man. Crazy world. Yeah, cold world out here. People don't matter. It don't matter where you at, man. Yeah. You just gotta be ready. You gotta be ready. Be prepared. Stay safe. Stay focused, and uh, you know, not let everybody know your whereabouts, man, because they be praying on you. You know what I mean? But uh, blessings to him and his family, his his lady. For the, for the Smoke Talk podcast. Man, I seen that. That was I was bugging, bro. Seen it early too. I'm like, man. You you can't you can't you. It, I was going to say you can't prepare for that, but you can, but there's, there's no way to know. Yeah, no, you I mean, don't. There's no way to know. It can happen anywhere. i tell you what, they, you know, they be tracking you with this, uh, this social media thing, you know what I mean? You know, and it's not a mistake because, you know, we're making money off of it. So, you know, you might be out of town. You might be promoting you here, performing or whatever. And yeah, it be, be like, a lot yeah, of times, a lot of times, it be people that know you. You know what yeah. I mean? They just praying on you, so you. That's, that's somebody, exactly you know the first thing that came That's like the mind. gift and the curse of this well, lifestyle. Somebody, somebody he knows sent them. Gift and the curse of this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. Well, that's a fact, man. But uh, yeah, speedy recovery and, and, and peace and serenity to, to, for both of them. Boy, when I tell you, it's been a hell of a week, man. With, <laughs> the, with this world, man. Uh, Cancer culture is in full effect right now, okay? And they winning. Well, well they, no, no. That not was, with Dave. With Dave, about to go with, down. With Dave, Dave yeah. came out on top. because I really Dave don't give a fuck. All they needed was somebody to start. And I'm going to say something, too. Netflix, they they, 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 standing they, on it, they stick they? to their guns all the time, though. This is not the first time. They're standing on it, right? Like, yo, when everybody was trying to cancel Netflix about the Monique thing, they ain't budge. Mm -hmm. they, stuck, they stuck to their guns. When you when you don't when you don't play to that shit, it don't work. Yeah. It don't work. So what Nike what? stood by Nike stood by Tiger Woods. Nike stood by Colin, Ka Colin Kaepernick. So let's recap the Dave Chappelle thing. Okay. So what what, what was it? Well, the L G B T Q R S T U V W X Y Z, I'm I'm not, I'm just, that's a joke. But the L G B T Q community was upset specifically the, the the trans part of it because he was making remarks about trans people and um he didn't spend his whole hour talking about trans people he talked about white people black people chinese people 
Mm. He talked about everybody. So if we talking about equality, (laughs) wouldn't equal be getting joked on too? That, like, that, are you excluded from jokes? That's what everybody fear about equality, because that means that whatever happened to me happened to you. No, people only want the good part of equality. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. That's what it is. You, you know what's crazy? I like you can't even be a comedian anymore. Comed- oh, you that can't. Was, that was Dave com- just showed. I'm never saying that was comedian's main thing. You know, yeah. they, 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 they say the shit that everybody they, else stand can up. say. Yeah, stand, stand up, stand up, comedy. Yes. Yeah, did you see what David Wayne said? Uh. Uh-uh. He said Dave should. They asked him about. Dave special. Yeah. He said Dave freed the slaves. Or he started a movie. He said he made it so he made it so we could say what we want to say again. Mm. You you feel what I'm saying? I it's, gotta watch it. I haven't watched it yet. It's liberating. It's liberating to one group of people, comedians, but it's offensive to another group. But I'll ask this question: Can can a uh, can a vegan be offended by a Chick Fil A commercial? Mm. And hey, what yo, should we do about that? They said the only two people that didn't break was uh, Chick-fil-A and Dave Chappelle when they came to cancel. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? If I, t- if I tell people I want to be called God, should they have to call me that if they don't believe it? Yeah, they're giving if away too much, bro. Nah. Your mother and father is a man and a woman. Is, is a trans woman or a trans man the same as your mother and father? Or are they different? These are questions too. Is I get, I get where you're going. Is like Dave Chappelle said, is gender a fact? You know, I think in this world it's just it's just such a touchy situation. And uh, you know, Dave is one of the people that, you know, is not afraid to to go at it because everybody who usually went at it went wrong. So And and Dave only does what he wants to do. Yeah. Yep. He walked away from fifty million because he couldn't do because it wasn't right on his end. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't hurt nobody like that. You know you know what's crazy, like you you get Dave right. Dave go Dave goes to that, and then right after that, John Gruden comes with the <laughs> shit he wrote in the email in the second quarter. How many years ago? Yeah. Ten years ago? Ten years? Right? It's, it's, Eleven. So they it's went years. on from 2011. Uh, late 2010 to uh, 2018. He comes with that. In the middle of Monday Night Football. Well, and is forced to resign. <laughs> forced to resign. Crazy, man. Yeah. What's your take on that, fool? I'm just disappointed. And... How people uh, weaponize their their uh, um, the progress that they make from their movement to weaponize it in a way where the first thing that you do is say, "Well, I don't even want people talking about it." I remember an era when we was growing up; it was called being in the closet. And when they made their movement, a lot of people, you know, felt a little bit more comfortable expressing their sexuality. But to weaponize it against people because you don't want them to talk about it is where I'm disappointed at. I'm disappointed that, you know, every time somebody get educated on something, they, they, they use their education uh, uh, against the people that don't that have the least amount of ed- education. It's just, you know, it's just all around the board when you weaponize, a, a, it's almost a power. I know a lot of civil rights that people didn't, even get taken care of or that were requested and nothing came of it it's a bunch of stuff still sitting on the desk at the white house about our civil rights but then you get the benefit of the doubt uh if, if i'm if i'm saying that correctly you get the benefit of the doubt people start to follow to, to follow your movement and promote your movement and then the first time somebody come along these is comedians I day I don't remember what I'm saying. I I'm I'm personally poking at one person, and he even had a story in there about a transgender woman that he uh became friends with. Um, but for them to come and say, all right, well he should be taken off because we feel offended. I feel offended every day, but I I can't take nobody off. So what and, what do you think about him firing? 
Gruden is uh, is an exception because uh, um, he wasn't just talking to himself. People knew. People knew. Um, and, and, and for that to come up, how do you expect the, the locker room to view you the same after they found out that this is what you've been doing? Now, even though it had been a long time ago and he apologized, but um, in my, my opinion, sometimes an apology ain't it. Because if you think, okay, if somebody do something to a, a person of color and then they apologize, the world is like, all right, he apologized. What, what you want him to do? They, they move on. But when they apologize and it don't seem genuine, you know, I mean, he, it was a long time ago, but, you I know. I mean, it stopped at 2018, so it's not that long ago. Well, when we, when we, when we. It be just in, went on for a long time. When we're in situations where we do something wrong. We we we're not forgiven as easily. Yeah, I you know, mean, so. you think they handled it right? <clears throat> I think that. I think that. For 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 the, it's not like I'm not defending them. I think the things that he said was disgusting. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think they were d- disgusting things to say about anybody, right? But um. For number one, he, he did not make these statements in the public. You know, it was a private conversation. Well, he thought it was a private conversation. He was having a private conversation with Bruce Allen, mm-hmm. who was then working for the Washington football team. Mm-hmm. And um, Bruce just decided to put him out. That's my understanding of it. Now, I don't know if they was beefing or whatever, but... You know, if if you gonna be, if you gonna be held liable for private comments, it, it's almost to the point in this world right now where, if your opinion is not popular with everybody else's, then you should be canceled, and that's the part I don't agree with. You brought up a good point. You said, "Yo, how is he supposed to be looked at in the locker room and all of that?" Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. And were they wrong for forcing him to, to to resign? No, because things like that is in play. You understand what I'm saying? But should he not be able to work anywhere else? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I agree. Like, this, like, I agree, I agree like, with what you're saying now. now like, because. is he not entitled to his opinion? He can, he can, he can feel however he wants as long as you don't utilize it. Like, you, if you're having a conversation uh, personally with somebody else, that's how y'all are. And that's the other thing I right. wanted to say before you go there. That's mm. the other thing I wanted to say. Mm. Um, I would like to see the responses because yeah. you, you're not going to have a, a seven or eight year long conversation with a motherfucker saying the things you're saying without the proper responses to make you comfortable talking that way. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So right. I would like to know what Bruce Allen was saying. Mm-hmm. But also what I would like to say is why why isn't he entitled to his opinion about black people, about uh LGBTQ about anything. I, I I think that you should be entitled to your opinion. Yeah, you can feel how you want to feel about me because because it's not black my people, business. Because black people and LGBTQ have their opinions about things. Absolutely, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It don't make it right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's not like he did this publicly. Yeah. This was a private conversation with somebody he considered to be a friend or at least somebody he was comfortable enough to talk like that around. Go ahead. This was like similar to the Clippers owner. Mm-hmm. It was a yeah. private conversation. Right. Yeah. Similar to... That she taped and, and made public. Right. So now, the fact that they got made public, yeah, I understand. Wherever you at, they got to do what they got to do. But is he not entitled to his opinion at, at home? When you Like, your home should be the safest place in the world for you to, for you to express your opinion. Mm-hmm. Was 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 Donald Sterling wrong? Absolutely, absolutely. Do I agree with the way he think or or was thinking then? No, I do not. But he's entitled to that opinion. The same way I'm entitled to feel like and I feel about so, whatever I feel so about. So here's the question: When you're in a position of leadership, uh-huh. in those those two positions, he was, you know, Gruden had a position of leadership with the Raiders. Mm-hmm. Which dealt with minorities. Football period. Which dealt with minorities. They actually had a gay player on the Raiders. Right. And and, and look. And the things he said about Michael Sam, the things he said about Goodell. Mm-hmm. 
I personally think it was the things he said about Michael Sam and the things he said about Goodell, which got which got him booted. To be honest. Now, can I say this though? Um, a few years ago, all of our opinions about uh, LGBTQ and all of that was different. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, the time Just because you out. felt that way then doesn't make you doesn't mean you, you feel, feel that, that way, way now. Yeah, exactly you understand true. what I'm saying? Yeah, people it could have, have been become, educated on things and changed. Right. People have become more top I don't want to say tolerant because that that's I think that's the wrong I, word. I think but really, people have people have let them in. You understand what I'm saying? People like y'all know there's a very close person to me that's LGBTQ. They they in that community. A very close person to me. And that's part of what changed my opinion on that community. You understand what I'm saying? It, it made me be like, all right, I, well, I can't be like this to this motherfucker, so I might as well just come off, come off the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So just because he felt that way, I'm, I'm not even talking about John Gruden no more. Just because a person felt that way Man. in 2018 or 2017 doesn't mean they feel that way now. Right. I think it was more of a... Um I think it was more of a the way the way it came out. Um, I think it had a lot to do with the shots he took at the commissioner. Privately, though. And no, I no, think- no, no. I'm not saying. I'm talking about the reason why they really gave him the X. Mm. You know what I mean? It was more like he took a shot at the boss. So they gave him. A, they gave him an ultimatum. Yeah, I mean, he 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 basically. You know, the NFL. You know, is a uh, is a special place, man. Um, it has a lot of bad. It's in the recent years. It's had a lot of. It's had a lot of bad things to say about it, and the way it's ran and everything. So I'm looking at it from a they business, rule, a business rule, perspective. They rule with an iron fist. With an iron fist. I'm looking at a business perspective. If you let, you know, it's like we can't let you talk about the boss like that, because then everybody going, which they everybody yeah. probably felt feel that way, but they just not yeah. saying it. He just was exposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the thing Jay Z said about Sterling, uh, that was the name, right? Donald Sterling. Jay Z said something that was real. Well, it was you know it made sense. He said, you know, I don't think they should have took his team. And he said, why? He said because now you sent all the other races back into hiding. Exactly, it, and, and not only that. You know? too, I agree with that. You know what I mean? I agree with that, and but I, not I, only that. I had to understand. You know what I mean? I had to get it, and I'm like, wow. He's like, yeah, like he's like, you know, you don't, you know, move, removing him just. Everybody duck now. But see this, and this, I agree with with all of that that Jay Z said. But my other point be that it's all good when it's happening to them, right? But when they flip it, see if it's if it's cool to do it to them, then it's cool to do it to us too. And that's the part that I be. You gotta watch how you feel about shit because you never know when you gonna be in a situation where you intentionally or unintentionally <laughs> offended somebody. With no malice. But then they trying to take everything from you because of it. You understand what I'm right. saying? It's all good until it's you. Right. And if they could do it to him, then they could definitely do it to you. So we got to be careful with that. That'd be my point. Yeah. Same thing like when we was talking about Trump's uh, Twitter page. If it's okay to do it to him, then it's going to be okay to do it to somebody else. Yeah. Now Boosie can't get his page back. And they can always say, well, shit, they ain't get Trump his shit back. Yeah. It's always cool until it happened to you. Man. It's um It's crazy. I think that's I think that's a, a very thin line. And and I think I mean, that people Cap, should Cap exposed the NFL. Big time. And and got and he paid the price for it. He paid the price for it. Nike stood by him. The NFL threw him in the garbage. So you know what I mean? It's it's a it's a thin line. You 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 mad when they do it to Kaepernick, but you happy when they do it to Donald Sterling? You know, because Cap was standing up for black people. Yeah, you know, with with, with Gruden, I'll say this: <laughs> he really got like a he really he was really broad with his. You know, it hurt me. I'm a Raiders fan, you know, but I definitely think, you know, after I sat with it, I was on the in the Zoom meeting when it popped up. And somebody in the meeting, uh, B Lo was in the meeting with me, and he was like, "Yo, B, they just uh, fired up." Uh, and then you hit me, and then you hit me and said it. I'm like, "Yeah," and um, you know, I understand him. He had to be removed from the Raiders. I understand because that. of the way he went about. I me mean, he started with racist comments. 
and you have a gay man on the team. But so they, didn't, they didn't get him for that. When it was just, get, they when, it was just get, when it was just racist. No, nah, he apologized. They didn't get him for that. But when everything else came out, mm. they put the axe on him. Because yeah. they strong. Mm. They strong and we not. Right. Yep. So, you know, I knew he had to be removed. Now, I do agree with Game. This is one thing that he's been saying. And this is a, a true. You can't stop the man from feeding his family forever because he made a mistake. Mm-hmm. He's I human. Agree. He's a I human agree. being. He's human being. And everybody that punch a clock, a, they make mistakes too. And if you couldn't make a dollar because you made a mistake, it y'all would look at it different. Well, I definitely think that that should be pointed. That should be directed towards those groups, because, like you said, everybody has their opinion, but those groups are using their 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 uh, movement in a warful manner. And I think that that should be explained to them that they should understand if you ever felt some way before when somebody was talking about you or doing something like that and then and, 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 and something bad happened to the other person, like you can't take their food from them because you don't like what they're saying about you. Because what people think about you is none of your business. Yeah. And you got to understand, like, cause it, like, like Game said, it could, they could turn it on you. They can break. They, yeah. they can destroy your movement. They can. They can. They can make it look like it's criminal and everything, like they did Black Lives Matter. Yeah, but it was cool when it was cool when when people was 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 doing it to the Tiki Torch dudes. But when it was Black Lives Matters, everybody was mad and up in arms. They entitled to their opinion the same way you entitled to yours. I'm not saying they right, but. They, however you feel is how you feel. You can't. The, the one thing, especially in your home, or and when you, or if I'm having a private conversation with Barry, that's when I can say the, the things that I want to say. It might not be for the world to hear. Yeah, I always say kitchen table talk. You be with your kids. Your kids and what Donald kids, Sterling was doing was might, was kitchen yeah, table talk. Kids might say they don't. You know, they feel some type of way about a teacher. And you know you don't want your kid to go say it to the teacher's face. That's amongst you and your, your children at your table. You say, "Hey, you know, da da da," and it stays in that kitchen. Now I don't stay here no more. Especially not with this technology. You can't text nobody. Bro. You can't email nobody. You can't talk to nobody. You don't know if you're being recorded. Mm, yep. And instead of canceling, Me- Meek Mill just said that. He said, "Yo, I was in like somebody had been filming, recording me in my own house, one of his boys or something for months." You know, that's a violation. Yeah, that's a violation. But, you know, that's what we have with this, this you know, this fast world. Everything is technology. I mean, listen, he's to this day. And I guess we all, I guess it's cool to do it once in a while. You can't sit down and have dinner without somebody taking a picture of the damn plate. Yo, I say, <laughs> bro. Right? I say, I right? say. Like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, I say a million things in private that I would never say in public. Yeah. And that's respect. Not only I won't that. even go out there and just say that stuff. I but I, it's my house. I can do what I want. Right, and yeah. I can feel how the fuck I want to feel. Well, I, I'm at your house right now. If these mics wasn't on, I I would I might say some shit that I wouldn't say publicly. But so, so the, the email thing. Yeah, it's yeah. He like yo. You can't like you got to watch. You even have to watch what you say. I can't say that. People. I can't say that that was his house because he took he took the initiative. No, he sent it out his house, to, but it was a it was perceived to be a private conversation, private. and it was private for eight years. But I'm gonna say this about his mistake. You know, things things I might say to you, I'm not gonna go say to now. But we don't know how close him and Bruce yeah, Allen yeah, was. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And my man probably just flipped on him for some. You reason. have to be some type of close. He wasn't just talking like that to everybody to feel, it, to feel comfortable. If he was talking to everybody like that, then everybody would have them emails. Only Bruce Allen had them. Yeah. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So he felt close enough to him to to express his opinion opinion that way. Sometimes you just be venting, bro. Yeah, no, that's you understand real what I'm shit. saying? That's real. So you going you going charge me for being. For me venting, so I don't do this shit public. Let me get this shit out, and maybe I can get some understanding from the person I'm talking to to change my mind about how I'm feeling about what I'm talking about. Right. So, but to just cancel to cancel someone without trying to uh, rehabilitate them, for lack of a better way to say that, like you, you can't just throw motherfuckers in the garbage. 
Yeah, make them, so, make them, make them so take, a, make them take a course. Gruden. I'm talking so, about no, Dave no, Chappelle. No, I'm talking no, about no, yeah. so we everybody. Go, we go from yeah. Dave Chappelle, then we hit John Gruden, and then we go to Kyrie Irving. Now they're trying to cancel him. Now, what do you think about that? I don't think they should. I mean, because look. Because he doesn't want to get the vaccine. Now it's been stated that he just can't play. Until he's yeah, eligible. he can't play away, nothing. Before it was, he could only play away games. They canceled that. They said, nah. Yeah, no. Nah. So basically, Listen, pressure on the you. Nets, get down or lay down. And the Nets have... The same way Kyrie has a right to say, I don't want to take the shot, the Nets have a right to say, well, so, you're not going to play if you don't. I put a poll on Twitter the other day that asked, is he abandoning his team? I think he's standing up for what he believes in. Um, I, I don't think he's abandoning the team. Not, I mean, every everybody not a slave to the dollar like everybody else is. To some people... Some things mean more than money. Fifty three percent of the people said no. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Forty seven said yes. Yeah, nah. He, hey, yo, look, he's standing up for what he believes in. in his body, man. But he don't want to put it nothing in his body, man. I don't see how he don't have to. Yeah, I, but he don't have to be. A, but if you know that that's a requirement to do what you got to do, you make the choice. You either say I'm gonna take it or I'm not. Well, you see and, what they're doing down in Florida, right? The the, the, the governor down there. Yeah, he he, he 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 made it so you can't uh, mandate but, vaccination. But he he done find uh, a bunch of businesses over three million dollars because they still down there doing the uh, COVID testing. They want mugs to come in. They still going with the mandate after he banned it, and he 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 uh, he uh, fined them up to three point four million dollars. Yeah, but he's a fucking idiot. That's uh, Leon, Abbott, right? Leon County. Leon County. <laughs> that's that's Governor Abbott, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a fucking yeah. idiot. Yeah, yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? The mandates was put in place for a reason. Now, I understand people say, yo, my body, my this, my that. But, yo, you can't get everybody sick. Mad at them Republicans that was going against the vaccine and, and, and going against not wearing masks and all of that, when they died from it, right on their deathbed, they were saying, I, I should have wore a mask or I should have did that. Mm. But they playing, they playing this power play to make people think that they for their freedoms. They not. But back to Kyrie, back to Kyrie, like I said, everybody not a, not a, not a, not a slut for money, man. Like, he got money. He good. He don't have to go against what he believe in. But the Nets don't have to budge either, is my point. So, um, I'm not going to bash him for believing in what he believes in. Like, that's his choice. So, so you being a Brooklyn fan, how do you feel if he don't play? Do you feel like he's abandoning the team? you feel like he's messing up your chances to win a championship this year? Nah. Um, the championship ain't all that important, man. His health is. Um, that championship going to be there. You know what I mean? Uh, should, should he retire? That championship going to be there. Should he get hurt? The championship going to be there. Um, I I would never be one of the people to to, to be an advocate for someone. Uh, uh, if you if you feel the way you feel, you stand by you stand. Every, every the businesses do it, people could do it. And as far as the team, hey, listen, it, what's the difference from playing if he was hurt and if he's not there? You going your job goes on. And if we gonna say you got a job to do, you there? You gonna do it? You do it. And if we gonna say women in Texas should have a right to get an abortion if they feel like they need to, then he should have a right to not get the vaccine if he don't want it. Everybody now, should. It's that all don't mean them, the Nets got to let him play, though. All I, them I, dates I, 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 mean, I mean, this cancel culture is spreading like wildfire. Mm. It's, about to, it's, about to, it's about to go down, though, because that monumental move that uh, Netflix did with Dave Chappelle, like, you're not about to tell me how to run my business. Because you don't like something, what are you gonna do? Yeah, you how gonna, about if you don't like it, don't watch it. Yeah, you gonna affect my business? Like, how? That's the same thing. What they, you doing ain't no better than what what you what you saying everybody else is doing. That's the same thing they doing to Meek Mill right now, cause his cause his album cover on the bus. On the bus, I I, I can I can barely make that out. Oh, is this what you want? Want black people to be represented? At? A black artist, a female black artist, made the made the art, created the art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yo. All right, y'all got outraged about it being on the buses. Well, what about it being on the or iTunes and Spotify? Yeah, the thumbnail and is else? everywhere. It was already there before it was on the bus. Nobody said nothing. 
Only when it's on a bus. Yeah, that 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 thing to me was very very minute. I don't I don't I don't even see what the uproar is, man. Y'all have seen worse album covers. People with oh, blood the, all on them, guns and choking rats and cat. Man, you done and seen in his world, else. and in, in his world, that depicts his reality. Right. Does that make it wrong? In his world, to them, there's, the, the, there's the strippers. I don't think there's so. the there's the there's the women taking trips. They got the floaties out there at the beach. Is is um. Oh, everything that he got up there, that's a part of his world. Mm. Can he not share his world? So, Art it, used to be subjective. Did, did they ever ask the strippers how they felt about it? Like, they, they don't matter? Should they have to? You know what I'm saying? But this is my thing. Like, all right, cool. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, did they ask you, the strippers was yeah, they offended? You see something on there that you don't like, and you your word represents everybody of the culture? Right. You can't be mad at, at, that, at that bus going by. If you live down the street from a from a from a strip club, yeah, that they you don't, don't, they don't, that you boy, don't, they don't, that you don't say club. nothing to nobody. You, you know what the difference is with today's time? I think people always did this, and just now they have the voice, they have the stage. That's the, all. The, 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 That's all. It we is. didn't hear this. Everybody did this, like you said, at home or whatever. It's just now you can get up here yeah. and type it, and it can go up in seconds. It's just like album reviews. How can you? How can somebody drop an album on Friday? It's Saturday. He's like, yo, man, it's album trash. You ain't listened to it yeah. for 24 hours. Yep. You know what I mean? Until so you can't. We, it. it also wasn't cool to do this when we was, when we was coming up. It wasn't cool well, to be Well, like, I think it always happened. I just think nobody it, had a stage it for it. It wasn't cool to do it, neither. It wasn't cool to be, to be that way. To be what way? All right. It's like this. I can't say it wasn't cool because no, I think people did it. People hated yeah, it all the yeah. time. Like this, I went to school with a homosexual. I hope that's the right way to say that. I went to school with one that weak way, right? Everybody knew him, right? A few people fucked with him or whatever, like, on some mean shit. But for the most part, everybody left him alone. Everybody knew what he was. Like, it wasn't cool to just be fucked up to him just because he, he was who he was. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nobody, like, pe- no, no. I ain't gonna say people didn't treat him different, but it, it was a, a, a fair level of respect. But that's what I'm saying. The difference is now, right? Those people that don't like this person can hide behind a fake avatar right. and shoot. Just like I said, uh, Luke and them dropped an album with girls on it and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the difference was nobody had a computer to go up there and just attack them all the time. They attacked them, remember? The news yeah, they and all that. they got attacked by the government. Yeah, <laughs> but we seen only when Channel 7 played it. And right. remember, that would come on here. Or oh, when they went four. to court. Yeah, when he had to go to court. court. That's, right. when, that's when right. time you seen it. You couldn't and, just, every time you open this phone now, right? And like, way, like yeah. I'll, I'll give you an example. You've been on social media like, today? Yeah. You see this red flag shit that's been over yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Like, Everybody follows. For everybody follows everything. So now, when you know, everybody been. I feel like people been feeling this way, but now it's like now the hecklers. In, now right, got a platform. platform. It's it. like the hecklers in, a, in a, a game. It's like now they can just go back there and say the harshest shit, and you can't see that. They, they, a lot of the shit they say they wouldn't say to your face. Of course not. Yeah, and you know now I mean? that you mention that, that's crazy. You know. The banter that goes on at football, basketball games. Yeah. yeah. Like, are you going to hold the fans accountable for saying the shit? That, yeah. <laughs> you and, know and what I mean? Like, and should, as long as they don't step over the line. Because yeah. some fans do get... Yeah, they get, they get, get irate. They go they, over the line. Yeah. But um, if it's cool to cancel John Gruden, is it cool to cancel Meek Mill? Because he offended... A certain I, group of people. No, I don't, I don't it's think not. Meek Mill's in, in uh, fear. I don't even think he's in fear of being canceled. He's just making his moves. I was just saying that to make a point. No, no, no. I, I think when it's one of ours, we treat it different than when it's not. Right. No, definitely. I just think that the thing that Gruden did did is like um, you being part of an organization and coming down on the people. It's like we can't have this person with this bound of power saying things like that. I agree with that. He should be he should that's why he they, I feel he like that's why they come down. Now I can't say like you know the NFL. I'm well, gonna be honest okay. with you. He, he I don't know I, well listen. I seen that with uh black men. I haven't seen that with 
a, a you white. Saw, you saw it with Donald Sterling. You no, I'm it? talking about the NFL. Oh, in, in the I haven't NFL. seen them do a white man like they did a black man. Nah. So I, we might, don't know. This might be the first time. We don't know. You that never, I can remember. Yeah, I'm just saying, we don't know what they might do with him in five years. Hell, we might see him back on it. He might can't go back to ESPN. He might be on Fox or something. We don't know. Like the things they do. I mean, uh, what was it? Was some of those announcers that had to step down with Marv Albert? One yeah, of them, like yep. he came back. Yeah, he came what? Back. Hold on. He what? He came back. Came back. He came back. Yeah. And uh, what's your name too? Uh, Mike Tarico. Mm-hmm. Mike Tarico. So what I'm saying He's is, back. you don't know if Gruden really might not get another job. You don't know. Well, I don't think it'll be with the NFL. I, I, I'm just making a point. It might he be. Can get a job. It might be a oh, radio. It might be. What I'm saying is, well, we get blocked out. Like all the way. Like Kaepernick said in an interview with Ebony Magazine recently that he's ready to he's waiting for a team to call. He said he get up every day at five in the morning and train. He's waiting for a team to call. You know how many teams need Kaepernick right now, man? I don't think Kaepernick's serious. I think he keeps saying that to make it to make it. I think he'll take the job. I think I'm not he saying do it. he won't, but I don't think he's actively waiting because I think he know what it is. I think he says that to keep it fresh in the people's mind that look, I'm still in shape and I can still play, and they still won't hire me. I think that's his. Per- I don't. I don't think he's actively seeking. A, I mean, a, a and Gruden job. commented on that. Gruden said, uh, "That my man should yeah, be he was, fired yeah, he was, for, he, for uh, kneeling." Yeah. See, he was hitting a lot of. He was hitting a lot of nerve. He touched a lot of people. It was, it was his yeah. private opinion, though. Yeah. It, it wasn't it, private. He it, didn't go on their airwaves and say. I that. don't think it's. I don't think it's private once you send it outside your house. Like right here, yeah, right? But like B, right here. If you, if you, 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 my brother. If you text me something. You you're not expect if the the last person you expect to do that to you is me. I got you. I got so you. it's private. I I understand that. It's private. I understand that. Until you don't know what type of beef you got, and then my the thing is, he's entitled to go home and say, "Man, I can't, I you know, I can't believe these guys did this." Da da da. Right. Right. But you know, I feel like. And we put the sauce on shit when we at home. Right, but I feel we talk like, reckless. Right, but I feel like you, I guess you got to take the responsibility. Mm-hmm. Now you do because it's public. I think you always okay. should take the responsibility, and not let it get back to the workforce. Well, like like when you when you're a boss me. and you got two employees and you might not like it's like having children. You know, a parent can have a favorite child, but you can't tell them that. That's a fact. But right, me, my 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 example still remains. When you talking to me through text. We we talk how we talk. Right, but who's and to, who's to say? So now look, that the that, person you talking to, I'm talking about me and you. Right, we don't know if John felt that way. We do know that. That's why he was talking to him like that. No, like no. I said, if he was talking to everybody like that, then it would be emails from other people. It's only from Bruce Allen. No, no, no. I'm, what I'm saying to you is, sometimes even humans aren't reliable right but that's not something you think about with me no I, I get and it and he and that's it had to be that way if he was talking to him that way it had to be like well, that hopefully they they release the other side hope every John will come back and release the other side you know, you know I would you I would know what they need petty. to do I, I, this, this is uh, something I always think like listen being in the spot where you are, you 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 you're, you're well known person, a well known of uh, celebrity, whatever, John Gruden, whoever. Listen, man, when you get in a situation where things like that come out from years and years ago, they should make them issue, uh, especially if it's against a a, a a different group of individuals. Uh, I mean, you know, a organization of people, uh, LGBT, uh, uh, black people, white, you know, whatever. Public apology, and then make them take an educational class on like they do the police. Yeah, Remember, that's what they did with the baby. Yeah, that's what they did. Yeah, they, just, had, to, they had to inform him on HIV and the things that he said. That was the outcome. Yeah. And that was that, that. To me, that's that's I sufficient, it, man. man. That's I, suitable because. Man, I, I mean, I, I just I mean, think, you got. Sometimes think, we don't know. I, just I, that, I believe that you got to play the game. I believe that you got to. The, the game adjusts every year. Every year. Er, er, over time, life adjusts, and we have to adjust with it. I think the only thing John Gruden did wrong was, was trust Bruce Allen. I can go with that. He entitled to his opinions, and he, you know. It, he, oh, I he, agree with you. I, I, I think that was his, his biggest mistake. 
Um, so you think that I don't agree with his sentiments. I don't agree with his views. But do you you do believe he should be have resigned? He should I, yes have because been fired? yeah he had to. You you got to do that when you got a gay player in your locker room. You got to do that when you got black players in your locker room. But they wasn't about to do it because of the black shit. What about what they're talking about, Goodell? Yeah, hey, I don't know Bro, how you gonna work opinion, that out, man. Like, yeah. yo, the boss don't come man, into Goodell, the, the, would, the it, teacher's like, lounge. That could be, like, that could be fixed you know in the conversation. Mean? Bro, you come on, man. I was just talking shit because I was talking shit. You understand what I'm saying? And, and some of that might have been that. I think it's more of the times right now. If this would have came out 20 years ago, or somebody wouldn't have been. You, would have been better. It's, it's the time. Now, right you now. wouldn't have heard about it till twenty years later. <laughs> I guess right now, right? Um, if you know about cancel culture, then I guess you gotta. I guess the only alternative is to watch what you say, or stand on it like Dave Chappelle. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think John Gruden want to stand on that, and, and um, I, I don't think he want to stand on that and make that his stance because. Like I said, just because he felt like that in 2018 don't mean he feel that way today. That's number one. And number two, even if he did still feel that way, you yeah. don't want to stand on that, bro. Nick Cannon. Not, not, not publicly you don't. Der Derek Carr said, love the man, hate the sin. Yeah. And that's how it should be. Yeah, that's that's, how, that's look, the way of the world. That, that's the way <laughs> the world should be. Yeah. Love the man, hate the sin. And then try to help the person that you... Instead of canceling them, yeah, I agree with that. I'm good, I'm good with that. Listen, if they want, if they're willing, are they going to cancel Tiger to reform? Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be different. They're going to try probably. They trying now. The domestic they're violence. They trying now. They trying now with one side of the story. They trying now. They don't even know Tiger. That was side an of the old story. incident, right? To my knowledge, but they don't even know his side of the story. Now, if his side of the story come out and it be like, yo, yeah, I did that shit, man, da 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 then, hey, man, it is what it is. But get him some help so he don't do it no more. That's, that's, that's. Get that's him some help so he don't the make thing. the same mistake again. They couldn't don't throw, Chris you, Brown. If you throw him in the, that's Chris Brown. He's an exception to the fucking rule. And they tried it with him. He was untouchable for a couple years. So cancer culture is everything. They Nick, winning. Nick Cannon and he, got his uh, show back, and then he made a game on there called "Cancel Cancel Culture." Bro, so I, you gotta see how they feel about cancel culture. I like that. Love the man, hate the sin. I like that's that. What Derek Carr said. Baby. I like that because that's that's what the world need. Instead of throwing people in the garbage, like you throw people in the garbage when you have a, a, a chance to restore them to to what they were, what they what they what, used to be. Man, listen, it's been so much going on with this stuff. You know they're trying to cancel Boosie too. You know he got arrested. Yeah, he said he'd be right back. Yeah, uh, he got arrested for that uh, that uh, fight or riot, inciting a riot on the show. Yeah, you know he's been going back and forth. Uh, you think he was wrong for going at the guy on Instagram? That keeps coming back up. No, I, no. For, wait, going at what guy? The owner. Of it, the, the guy who runs Instagram, not the owner. You know, the guy who's the head of Instagram. Oh, nah, because if, first of all, they I'll won't give his page. They back. won't give him his page back. So, I think in situations like that, with a, with a person like that, that's where you go. You go up to Instagram and had to, you try to set the meeting up. Yeah, but if we so mad, hey, look, <clears throat> I don't mean to jump off Boosie. But this is another point I wanted to make about the Meek Mill thing. Like, yo, Instagram allow women to be more than half naked. Twerking, doing all the things they doing. Yeah, I, I think Boosie so, was a so little... So this, this goes back to my Boosie point. Instagram got the power to take Boosie Page away. So if everybody mad about that, let's start our own platform. We don't need Instagram. Make our own platform to do that. That way we ain't got to worry about it. Boosie, live your life. I think... I think. I think we we not together. Like we don't that. own nothing in yeah, the culture. They making a lot of money off of it. That's people. The, you know what I mean. So people from other places get to dictate how we do our culture, and that's the problem. If we owned it, it wouldn't matter. No, we can we could do it the way we want to do it, but as long as Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all of those things 
all yeah, the platforms us, that we relying on, then they're going to be able to do us how they want to do us. We can't come together for nothing, man. The cookout, canceled. <laughs> I mean, uh, Nana's house canceled. I don't remember last time we had a family reunion with everybody, though. I think we got to stop saying we can't do it, though. I, well, I, I believe we can do it. I, we I, haven't been I successful at at the, doing it yet. Tr- or making an attempt. But did, it, it, did, it, did it can got, be done. Diddy got a TV station. Yeah. But nobody don't. They don't push it. The, the, not him. The the, other yeah, people, but you know what though? People not watching it. TV like that. But all of that, all of that revolt, uh, YouTube and internet stuff, they they mess with. You got drink right, champs right. up there. You got uh, they're part of the Breakfast Club. They no, got, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying that, but it's not out there like it should be. Only thing black people support that black people do is this. They barely support that. Yeah, that's it. Well, we got to do better. We got to do better. We, yeah. we we can do better, and we will. We have to we have to keep an open mind and we have to keep a positive mind towards it. We will do it. Just today ain't the day. But that start with that start with the way we raise our children. That start with the way we do in our own house. Mm. If if I if I if I tell my son, yeah, man, we gotta we gotta do this for the black people. We gotta support black people, and then I call a white man to come fix the air conditioner. Then I'm sending the bad example. I'm not living what I'm saying. We got to do that shit with action, not with just words. Agreed. Not with just words. Hey, man. On that note, man, you might as well take a shot on that one, man. That was, yeah. Shout out to Rosé, man. Vion. That's the drink of choice for today and a couple more days. Vion Cognac. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looked like he's doing the right thing. Ah, uh, yeah. That that bottle is beautiful too. Beautiful bottle, handcrafted in beautiful southwestern France. Huh? How is that? It's sweet. This is gonna be the drink. The drink for the Smoke Talk podcast right now. We got a bunch of bunch of things coming up. Yeah, you gotta put this on the rocks. Yeah, that's yeah. what. It, oh yeah, I already know. How, yeah. I already know where it's going. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put that on the rocks. Oh, yeah, once once somebody say you gotta put a cube in it. Your lady, your lady ain't gonna be mad at you. You pull that up. Ah, uh, she ain't gonna be mad. Like that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get me a little bit in a minute. Yeah. Handcrafted, beautiful southwestern of France. Tune tested, small batch tra- traditions. Vion. I fuck with it. Hey, man. For that shot right there, we already know what time it is, man. It's when things go wrong, man. Uh-huh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Wind man, it up. I got... So, for today, when things go wrong, I got two. Uh, I'm going to do the when things go wrong right now, and I'm going to do a throwback that i seen before. I don't know if y'all heard it, mm. okay. but I'm going to bring it to the forefront. So Let's do it. The first when things go wrong... Yeah, it'll be uh this when this when things go wrong is sponsored by what game? V on Con V on Oh man. Listen. Terrell Pryor, man. Yeah. Ex wide receiver Terrell Pryor. He was he flatlined twice after his girlfriend stabbed him in his chest. He took her back. He got the charges reduced, no jail time. Went to jail the other day for throwing pump pumpkins at her because she wouldn't leave the club. <laughs> yeah, she probably like, pressed all the charges. All over the news. Yeah, and look, when she stabbed him, nobody heard about it. Oh, uh, nah, yeah, I damn sure didn't hear about nobody that. Nobody knew. But you know, flatline twice, bro. He's seen. Yeah, that's he's when seen a piece of heaven twice, bro. That's that's when things go wrong, and I don't want to make light of that. You I know? mean, y- y- I don't want to laugh at that. It's funny, but I don't want to God laugh at that. God got a sense of humor too. But he, he literally peeked into heaven twice, <laughs> and, and took, took her back. back. And, and and he in jail for throwing a pumpkin. Now, should he have thrown the pumpkin? Absolutely not. Sometimes you gotta throw a pumpkin. I don't, I don't promote violence against women from a man. He ain't hit her. The pumpkin hit her. <laughs> he shouldn't even be there. The after, only way, after flatlining the twice. only way, the only way. I condone violence against a woman 
as if she's attacking you, like she's trying to shoot you, or you like it's self defense. Like, like the way no, she stabbed him, right? And now, if he would have did threw a pumpkin at her, then I wouldn't have nothing to say. Yeah, it, it's no longer attack if they're attacking you. It's self defense, right? Yeah, but so, just yeah. to haul off and throw something at a woman or to hit a woman, like threw I don't, a pumpkin I don't, at her because he I don't wanted that at all. He wanted his pumpkin to come <laughs> but, out of the club, but <laughs> it, it it goes back to to the same thing that people say to women after a man hit him. Why you go back? You understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. well, this woman, this woman tried to take your life. Yeah, he definitely well, been. I don't pooped. know what could be worse. That love don't love don't hurt that much. That or well, we gonna give a we gonna dedicate this next take a shot of that gang. <laughs> this next shot to Orlando Dewitt of North Dakota. <laughs> this is a wait, wait when wait, things go wait, wrong. Wait, come on, wait. Say his name again. Orlando Dewitt. That nigga North sound Dakota. like something went wrong. Or, Dewitt stabbed stabbed a. Uh, he got stabbed during three during the threesome because he refused to change positions. <laughs> oh, I, oh, he, he ain't want to switch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Switch positions or switch partners? So switch positions. The girl stabbed him. Uh, let me see. I believe. The yeah, other. yeah. The girl. I the think. Girl yeah, I him. think he was hitting it, and the other dude was getting hit. He, the other dude wanted to yeah, yeah. switch around. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly. Yeah, and then. Yeah. then <laughs> 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 now that's funny. <laughs> I'll laugh at that one. <laughs> that nigga's both naked and, and, and oh, where man. did you get the knife from? He had it the, the whole time. Nigga had a machete or something like that. Yo, man. he probably he probably did the shit and didn't want to do it with him. He was getting too much love. He was getting too much love. Maybe it, it, maybe it was his girl. Yeah, maybe it was his girl. Maybe she was complimenting old buddy too much and <laughs> the nigga yeah. hit the roof. Like, hey, look. Ooh, Got to be careful with that. Say, say well, again. DeWitt got stabbed. Hunter stabbed DeWitt. Right. Hunter stabbed yeah. Orlando DeWitt. Mm. Yeah, because uh, he wouldn't come up off the that woman. Butt. <laughs> the woman began, he leaving the the butt. Woman began <laughs> to perform oral sex on Hunter while DeWitt had intercourse with her. When Hunter asked to switch, DeWitt refused. I told you. He wanted the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter reportedly threatened him to say that he's going to fuck him up and kill him, then pulled out a 12 inch butcher knife from, from his couch and stabbed DeWitt twice. After he attempted to run away. And all he had to wait for DeWitt to do was finish. And he could have went and ran outside around. naked and called the police. Oh, man. So <laughs> so the head was trash. He wanted some ass. And my man wasn't done yet. Because he already knew the head was trash. He like, let me finish. <laughs> I'm let me say. finish, bro. Hold <laughs> up. Oh, hold God. up it's my uh, turn let me finish <laughs> he pulled when a things go wrong when man. things go wrong you got first of all and that just goes to show you you having a threesome with with, with some nigga that you ain't even like that with yeah <laughs> you know what I mean yeah like that might have been their first one or something like that like when you when you do that all the time you pretty much got a system <laughs> <laughs> before, before, Before we go on any further, before we get to the uh, <laughs> the NFL, I want to ask y'all something, man. That's a good one. That's a good one. I want to ask y'all something, man. Uh, Fat Joe Rudisley said that the baby is 2021 Tupac. Because the the, I mean, the picking is, is slim. Like you I got, just said we got to stop comparing people to Tupac and just let it be, man. It's only, over, man. The only thing he can go off of was... It wasn't lyrically, it wasn't uh, his characteristic. Well, yeah, no, I'm no, saying, no, no, but but say it's not, not like a, yeah, it's not. not like pop. I wouldn't have said ah, oh, dope. He remind me of pop. I believe until it's the trouble he got he into, into the trouble we got, got into. Yeah, into. yeah. But I, I, we gotta stop, man. Mm. I don't want to hear about he's the next LeBron, he's the next Jordan, he's the, he's the, like, the, 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 come on, man. People, I think people just go, keep man. it all going, man. Hey, listen, I don't, I don't see the comparison. Maybe he's saying. Maybe he's saying that. Um, I think it's the trouble, the rebellious. Yeah, maybe he's saying you know Man, his yeah. his aura, his remind him of that. But yeah, because it didn't I, have. I you know, I'm not going. I'm not going. Uh, I mean, it's a compliment to the that. baby. It's a compliment to him. Yeah, I'm not Pop saying it was wasn't. A I'm, I'm just saying like, that. But that's nobody can't live up to that though. Yeah, it's just like the Drake and the Michael Jackson thing. You can't yeah, live up yeah, to that. Come on, like yeah, you that, can't live that up was to that it. was that was wild to me. It like. was Chris Brown and Michael Jackson at one time. Like yeah. yo, you can't live up to that, Mike. You can't live up to that. It's the honor. I'm, but at the no, same let me time. take that back. You can live up to it, but let them live up to it first. <laughs> yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Before not you critically say acclaimed. Not you know you know. Just I mean, you was dope in college, I mean, not self proclaimed, critically acclaimed. 
you can all you can all come to a conclusion when my career reaches its peak or when I'm done, or, you know. But don't, you know, intervene my movement with that with that type of mess. You know, that's just yeah, that's serious. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I mean, like I said, Joe entitled to his opinion. I, I, I don't see the correlation, but he couldn't pick nobody. But I, he, but he with, picked the one thing that I fuck with, little baby, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't think. And like, I think that was, I think that was more of Joe just bigging him up than. That's why I said it's a compliment. Yeah, I think he was just bigging him up. Yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, because you know Joe be over the top. He, 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 yeah. hey, coming from him. Y'all seen the um coming from Joe? Yeah. Y'all seen the new verses? Big Daddy Kane and KRS One. I'm going to be looking into seeing uh uh how much love that they get because for some strange reason I think they're gonna have a lower uh. uh they might have lower views, but they're gonna have a KRS. The show gonna be the show gonna be lit, and the people at the show is gonna be, it's not going it's gonna be sold out. I think. I think certain stages aren't meant for everybody. They cancel. They cancel KRS. Yeah, you know but I mean? like, but that's the thing though. I, I just think certain things ain't yeah, for everybody. But that's the thing though. It, people from that people from that, from that era, era. That's what they have. For. They that's have what it's phones. For. That's what it's and for. And they have Instagram. And they have all the other. They can. Get I think trailer. that's what it's for. Yeah, it's for them. You know what I mean? I yeah. think it's like the Isley Brothers in uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Or, or like yeah, Keith you gotta Sweat. Give everybody or like Keith yeah. Sweat and Bobby Brown. Like yo, I'm not mad at the. I'm not mad at the matchup. I do. No, it's a dope match. And as, and as much nah. as I love, uh, all right. So, are we giving our predictions now? No, no. I just said what we you just, thought about it. Oh yeah, well yeah. I, I think it's I think it's good. I'm gonna be tuned in. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, looking I'm not gonna miss it. Do gonna, can we do picks? Yeah, I I think that's more to me. I'm looking for more of a celebration. Myself, um, I think when it comes to a battle, I wouldn't put them two together in a battle. It's two different types of music, in my opinion. Hmm. It's, you know, it's verses, though. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, I yeah. think I think that's one of the yeah. things I don't like about verses. I so think who sometimes you put they Chris put. Against? I have to think or about Kane that. Against. I have to think about that. But I never I thought of it as a battle. I like some. That's my thing with verses. Sometimes I think. Like I don't think like the matchups. Yeah, I don't think Fat Joe and Ja Rule is a good matchup. Yeah, I feel you. You know what I mean? So I don't think Big Daddy Kane. I think that's more of a celebration. I don't think Keith Sweat and, and Bobby Brown was a good matchup, I think, but I thought that was a beautiful. It, it, it ended up to being me, dope, though. It was it was a beautiful yeah, yeah. celebration. Yeah, yeah. To me, it, it was a it was a beautiful celebration, and I think that um, with Karis one, I think that's going to be. Right, I'm gonna pick a winner, man. I you know got man? Chris. Yeah. As much as I love Big Daddy K, Big Daddy K was my favorite guy, I mean, but I, he don't the, got enough to go against Chris. Who was the first versus? Timberland and Swiss. Timberland Swiss, Timbal Swiss, Swiss, right now. They was they was they was talking smack, right? They was they was they was talking smack. They made it seem like, well, until they turned it into a, a thing. It was it was almost the locks. It was almost the locks. The first verses were raw, but those was like battles. Those were the yeah, those were the best ones. Like with the uh, with the dream and um, sound quality was terrible. Right, yeah, but yeah, it, it wasn't. Was a lot of, but they, that's what I'm saying. Though, like, yeah, yo, the best things aren't put together good. It's like that that breakfast spot we used to eat on Lions Avenue. It was a little small hole in the wall, but the food was good. When you when they expanded it, nobody yeah, don't really go there no down. more like yeah, that. Yeah, yep. You know what I mean? And that's what versus it was the sound quality. Like with hip hop back in the day, the sound quality wasn't the best. This but ain't the, back in the day. No, but hear me. That's the essence of it, though. Right. The essence of it is to plug the mic up in the park and go. And go. It's yeah. not about the Bo system and all. It wasn't like that. They didn't have that. Some people didn't have the money for that. Bro, we was listening to that shit from from your phone speaker, bro. That shit was ass. Bro, that's how it was. That's that made shit, it wrong. It seemed like that everybody who ass. tried to it, enhance their shit, that shit sound bad. As soon as, they as soon as they added on the extra shit, it watered it down. Yeah. Things get watered down. Some, well, thing, some things are supposed to be raw. Some things ain't for everybody. I, I'd rather hear it on Triller than, than to hear it on on. I liked it when they phone. were doing it when they they were, were dope battles on the I, phone. I liked but, it when they were doing it against each other in the studios. Uh, when when they were doing it against each other, I liked it like that. Was raw. Now it's more of a it's more of a, it's show. a show, and 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 it's cool. I don't run to it. Uh, Jada Kiss made me love it, but other than that, there's a lot of them I could have skipped over. Yeah, Snoop well, Snoop and DMX. Snoop and DMX turned it into to me. Uh, that's when it, the benchmark of it when it 
Uh, I don't think that was a into, good matchup, but it was a good battle. Well, to me, because it was a good of how happy, yeah, how happy Snoop was to be able to. I'm not mad at a celebration. I'm yeah. not mad at a good show. I think no, that's I still when go into it looking at. I don't look at it like a battle. I go in looking yeah. for a winner. See, yeah, maybe they're not battling, they're but not I, I couldn't no find a battle. I couldn't find a winner with Snoop and and D. Nah, they ain't because nobody was battling. Nobody was battling. I'm not. I'm not going to say that they got to be battling. Dmx because it's not about the artist. Popping shit and going at the other nigga. It's about song versus song. It ain't for them to be battling. It's for it's for you to say, yo, all right, well that song it's was like, better than that like one. Take, that song was it's better like they'll than that take one. an underground artist who don't have that many hits, and then they'll take a guy who had hits and put them against each other. It's like, and it's like you you winning on who watching the shit. If the yeah, underground, on, yeah. if the, I'm, I'm, just have, make, I'm just making a point. Nah, he was just, he was I'm just, just making a to, point. I'm just showing you how it go. Whoever's watching it that day, that's who's winning. Like whichever fan base is really tuned in, that's just that's just way it's swaying. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the shell of it. But see, I don't, bro. I don't even look. At I can't. It. I can't pick a winner out of. I'm not looking gotcha. for a winner out of. I don't think Big Daddy Kane and Karras is a battle. I think it's a celebration. I thought Ja Rule and them was a celebration. Me, my opinion. But yeah. don't go, the, nah, the, I agree with that. You can pick a winner. You can pick a winner. Not that, that that not that they gonna be going at each other like that. Is that when when Chris played criminal minded, whatever. Kane play after that, all right, it criminal minded one or yeah, whatever. I got you. I that's got you. that's how I'm judging. I got you. It. I'm not judging it off of what they saying to each other. Yeah, I got you. I I'm got judging you. it off of what song. I mean, most over. I mean, you know, handful of people think it's a battle, handful of people look at a celebration. That's how it's supposed to be. You know, it's a, you know, it's to whoever's watching. Did you make a pick, fool? Uh I'm always gonna go with Big Daddy Kane, it don't really matter. Um, but I, I love KRS uh for his contribution to the game. I mean, if you know me, you know who I'm going. With, who I'm going with? You going with Chris? I'm a boogie down production. That's who I ran with. That's who, anybody who know me know me. That's where it was. That's where it started See, with I me. Was, I was team BDP. both. I was team both. Of I, I, every, Kane, every, everybody love everybody love Kane. Man. But I ran with I ran with with uh, BDP. Anybody who know me know that. I ain't gonna yeah, say I, that. I know that. I know it's just that. like with a Nas thing. I ran with Nas. That's that's just what I do. You I know, know what that. I mean? So you pick Nas over Jay I, in a, in a in a, in a verse. I'm gonna run with Nas. I'm gonna run with Nas. Gotcha. I mean that's I'm a Nas. A Nas you a fan. whole fan too. I'm a whole fan. I wouldn't put them against each other. That's my thing. That's my thing about verses. I think that they should be more selective on their battles. Can, can, can you know what I mean? Can. Like like I'm I'm not gonna put Mob Deep against Outkast. Actually, would you why, do? Why would you do? You, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Why wouldn't you put? Why wouldn't you put Nas versus Jay? I believe they're two different types of artists. I believe Nas is more of an underground artist. He just had a couple pop records. Jay make hit records. It's different. I wouldn't put Nas with him. Me personally, that don't mean they can't battle. But you know, I believe Jay Jay Jay's vision of making music was different than Nas. I would try to put. So you only want like I would. I like would artists. put. Yeah, I would put. Like artists, you know, if I'm gonna grab Buckshot, I'm gonna grab somebody that's underground to go against Buckshot, so we can get the essence of the underground. I'm not so, worried about. Right, I'm not this. worried about the 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 viewers. You know what I mean? I'm worried about the essence of the of the music. You know, with hip hop. You I know think, what I'm saying? I think Jay and Nas would be a dope battle. It would be a dope battle because they the two biggest artists, Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas. I mean, it's been said, but what I'm saying is, I believe they two. Different now, I would put Biggie against Jay Z because if you put Nas you against me? anybody else, then Jay Z, you hear me? He gonna, no, no, you he hear what I said? Him. I would put Biggie against Jay Z, they make the type of music they were making boss music. Nas was coming from a different aspect of it from the project window. He had the, the mantra, the, 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 the name Escobar, but Nas was coming out the project window. So I would take somebody from that vision. Me personally, this is my opinion, y'all. I, mean, I, would, say, yeah, I would take somebody and match them up. Like I said, I'm not going to put Outkast versus Mob Deep. Those damn near two of the best rap groups. But I'm not going to put them against each other because I don't think that's just one. So who would you put against Nas? I would have to. I would have to think about. It. I would think about because he gonna him. smoke anybody else. Not, not this motherfuckers. They can get with Nas, man. <laughs> he gonna smoke anybody else. Hey man, we always think somebody gonna get smoked, like you said, until you put the uh, Nas and Black Thought. Nas gonna smoke him because Nas got bigger records. He got more. He got more. I can't. You. you I don't. No disrespect to Black Thought. Dope. One of the dopest MCs ever. He well, don't he got might, twenty. He don't got twenty hits. He might put on the show though, like Jada did. He might go. He might take it somewhere else, and he could turn. He can turn the table while everybody's hey, expecting Nas. Let me Nas be honest cuts. with you. Let me tell you something. 
I think if somebody would have picked. No, I'm talking about song for song. I yeah, think show if somebody, wise, yeah, Black I think if somebody would have picked Fab's records, Fab could have got Jada. Just they ain't picked the right records, man. Fab got that shit on the mixtapes, man. But yeah, and and but, yo, Jada, Jada's personality did it. I'm just talking about song for song right. personality. The, yeah. yeah, Black Thought might. You like you like like, uh, like like yo like you that, really think Fat Joe and Ja Rule was a good matchup? I think. No. I think it was a good matchup. No. I think so. I think 50 Cent and Ja Rule would have been a good matchup. We'll never get it. I'm nah, just saying. Yeah, and they not the same artists. They make different music. They both were nah, similar. They, 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 they were both similar. They more similar. They both similar. That's why they was clashing like that. The, they wasn't talking about the same shit. That's what, ja Rule was talking that gangster shit. Yeah, not 50, on his hit. 50, 50 went and did the oh, same he thing. Not on them he had select, ja Rule had a lot of records he didn't play that were street records. Because they wasn't hits. The reason why he can't get the street records off is because he lost that battle, man. It wasn't hits. Neither. I'm not it saying. Wasn't hits. What I'm telling you is, at some point, some Dipset had more hits than Dip D Block, but the D Block shit overrode the hits because of the show. But what I'm saying, they overrode them. They were just dope records. Yeah, they put on for them, but you could have played them. Ship shit. They played them at the right time. You know what I mean? Like Dipset had more hits. Sometimes they ain't about the hits. It's like you said. It's just how you line it up. You can get beat. You can have hits and just line it up wrong, right? You told me that. Yeah. You can up. just line the shit up wrong. And, up and, wrong. and lose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that that's one song come on too late. Yeah, and that's what makes it dope. Because we'll sit here, hey, look, I argued this nigga down about Keisha Cole against Ashanti, but yo, guess what? Ashanti lined that shit up right. I, I well, man, you said happen. that. I knew that was going to happen. I got to get. I give the flowers when they do. You know what I mean? But what it was, it was a lineup. Man, that nigga pulled mad Keisha's cold songs up. She didn't play them at the right moments when we were lining up. Remember in the studio and going because because Keisha they, didn't do that though. Ja, right, Keisha would they, play a, a fucking slow record, and Ashanti would play goddamn play a John Rule record. That's what I'm saying. It, I knew how, she was going to do that. That's how you go because as an artist, sometimes what we fuck up at. We start getting into our personal how we felt when we wrote this record. Oh man, you know, and we and that person looking at him like, yo, this shit don't, you know what I mean? We like, yo, I, you know, I was stressed when I, you know, Keisha was going to that, you know, so I was heartbroken when, I, you know what I mean? Ashanti was too, but she had she had some up records too that was hits. Keisha's up records really wasn't like, hits. yo, I think you were nuts for telling me that Ashanti can battle Mary J. Blige. But it would have been a. She can it battle would, her. She's going to lose. Nice. It would have been nice. But she could battle her. It, 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 I don't she think she'll get, get smoked. You told, me she, you told me she could get with her. I, that, I don't think she would get smoked against Mary J. Blige. I, it, it could be 13 7. It could be 13 7. Mary winning. Who would a versus battle you'd like to see? A versus I would like to see. I would. It's two. I would like to see Jay and Nas, and I would like to see. 50 and Ja Rule. Mm. Yeah. So, um. Eminem and Red Man. Hmm. Eminem and Red Man. Uh, the only reason I said that is because I wouldn't Eminem. Have that, but that would be a good battle. Eminem said that Reggie was the, uh, his number one on his list. That That's what I'm saying. Battle. It's a love fest, but I, that would be like him battling Method Man when he did. But I, I'm not mad at that, though. That's that's a That's a good matchup. That's a good matchup. Mm. Red man can't go hit for hit with him, but nah. I mean, uh, it's a good matchup. Mm. They, sure they, 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 they have some fun up there, I think. Mm. Um, oh, you said what's about uh, yeah, about dream uh, versus. Doing, I don't. I ain't really got no dream versus man. I like I said. I if you notice, I don't be like. After the ones they did, I don't be ranting and raving over that shit. I just be thinking that shit is a show now. I don't look at it like a battle. Like when I seen the Karis one and uh, Big Daddy came, I was like, okay. We just get it. I like it because we get a chance to hear that. We're not going to hear that shit nowhere else. <laughs> ain't nobody yeah, ain't looking at it there. Ain't nobody giving song for song. Ain't nobody giving them niggas their flowers yeah, nowhere that's else. That's the best part about it. I'm know. looking at it as song for song, and y'all looking at when, it. When as... I come back, I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'll tell all right you what. To look Not y'all, but you. I'll tell you what. Episode 14. I'm gonna give you my dream verses. Let me sit back and think about it. You bet. So we on the sports. Hey man, you know NFL week five. Week six coming up. No, yeah, I'm talking about well, the past week. Yeah, we just yeah, last week, week five. five. Yeah, that was week five. What's up, fool? Hey man, listen, man, we don't went out to the London. 
and the good old Jets, man, they, they waited too late to kick up in the second half and ended up faltering to the Falcons and lost by seven. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I see the progress in the youngster, man, but we got to start, you know, somebody got to get on them, show them that defense playing lights out. Can't be making those those little small mistakes. The Giants got their, got their belts whooped on by the Cowboys. Cowboys going to look like they're going to take the division, like I said. I uh, don't like to say it, but that's what it is. Uh, so, they, you know, they, they didn't make it. Uh, the Rams uh, came up on the Seahawks, which I didn't see. I thought Russell Wilson was going to have a breakout game and all that. And then and he got... Did you see Geno? Yeah, then Geno Smith had to come in there. Uh, you know, it ended I like didn't Geno Smith, but Geno looked good until he threw that. How end he pick? He threw a pick. Yeah, he threw a pick. And now, uh, in, his defense, in his defense, the receiver fell when he he, the, he threw the ball and the receiver fell and it got picked in his defense. But it could only end like that for Geno Smith. Go ahead, fool. Great game, Packers Bengals. You know, uh, Aaron Rodgers, he hit different. You know how he get down, but uh, you they saw pulled the it out. Yeah, the ending was crazy because. Uh, <laughs> missed four field goals in him. Yeah, at the end, four game winning field goals. Uh, the Packers missed two, and the Bengals missed two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that Raider game was heartbreaking. Yeah, I that think game. y'all was distracted. We were distracted. Yeah, we weren't that, that, playing at full potential. I think that. y'all was and distracted. We, and we, we came back in the second half, and then like you know, the Bears destroyed us over there. You know, we we uh, we had a press conference today. Uh, we moving forward, three and two. We won game out of first place. We won in second place. Uh, they won game ahead of us. Charges, so actually two because they beat y'all. We, 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 one game in the college, but they got to yeah. They, they beat y'all. We tied. Too. They would have to lose, right? Because mm-hmm. they're one game ahead. So if they lose and we win, we'll be ahead. We'll be four and one. Y'all had the same record. No, we'll be one game ahead of them. Right. If y'all got the same record, they'd be a yeah, y'all. yeah. Right. So we not in a bad position, but you know this game right here, we play Denver. This gonna tell me everything. Yeah, and y'all might rally around this turmoil yeah, that's this, going on. Y'all this, might rally this, and, and this gonna tell go me everything. What, what we do? I said my prediction was ten and seven. Okay. So I hopefully y'all I hope still on that, pace. I hope we we get there. Y'all still on pace. What else you got? Buffalo took care of business. They looking like the best team in the league. It's yeah, the gold, he was right. They looking like the best team in the league. Miami got their heinies handed to them again. Uh, again, <laughs> messing with the women, messing with the Don. <laughs> again. You know, oh, man. You know they, again. They, they they lifted them up a little. Spanked him. And uh, uh, I was very impressed about the Cardinals. Five and zero. Oh. Five and zero. Oh. Only undefeated team in the league. So I guess I won't see none of them Cardinals fans until they make it closer to the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Because I only know one in I this never city. Met one. Yeah. I never met one. Only yeah. matter of fact, I did meet one. What's my man that used to come up from Arizona? White boy? Dylan. Dylan. Ah. Oh. Dylan. He, but he was from Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah. Outside say of yes. Arizona, it wasn't no Ari- well, maybe sprinkled here and there because of uh I never met a Cardinals fan. I never met one either, but, but it, I know there was some because of Fitzgerald. But mm-hmm. Titans came on for the win. Uh, uh, the rookie down there in Jacksonville uh, that was supposed to be uh, Jets' target. Still 0 and 5. Still 0 and 5 down that way. Uh, mm. Saints. Damn. Saints. Saints. Yeah, we got our win before. Uh, let's talk about uh, uh, Jameis. Uh, Famous Jameis. Man. You know, uh, his, his drive is crazy. You know, he, he was going through some cancel like turmoil at one point. But to go over there uh, so after Drew Brees. And, and and hold that team up like that, impressive. That's Very impressive. impressive. I agree. That's impressive. I picked them to win that division too. Steelers Nation, y'all came up. Y'all did. Y'all did y'all thing. Uh, you know, uh, y'all had some scares though, but they still ass. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you I'm tired of them, man. Uh, Vikings, Vikings, y'all ain't, y'all ain't do too well. I mean, I'm sorry, Vikings won. Uh, Lions. Uh, Yo, y'all but get, you yeah. see how they beat them? Only yeah, the Lions was, lose like that, yeah. bro. See. I was watching the game with, with, with you <laughs> and you told me like yo when they when they scored that, that field goal and but they was at, up but look at how they like, did watch it this. Look at how they did it though. Detroit got a turnover on the Vikings, right? Yep. Goes down the field. Get some game win I mean get some field goal. It's twenty eight seconds on the clock. Mm. I told him right then. 
I said, watch they lose by two. They was up by one point. Well, yeah. I said, watch they lose by two. With that small amount of, but they had like 30 seconds or something like that. It was 28 seconds left. <laughs> the Vikings went and got in field goal range and kicked the field goal and won it. I told you, only the, they've been Ooh. losing heartbreakers all year. Only they lose like that. Ah, uh, that was crazy. Ravens, Colts. Hey, listen, man. Uh, goal. Yo, they let them off the hook. They let them off. They the let them off the hook. I'm sick of your shit. The Colts <laughs> let them. You want to crown them? Crown them then. We yeah. let them off the hook. Oh, God. Yo, the Colts was up 22 to 3. Mm hmm. And lost. Fact. And lost. In the second, really, in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. At the end of the third and in the fourth quarter. Right, man. That was rough. It's rough. Shout out Gold, man. Who, who I know that was tough. Who y'all got this week coming up? Oh, man. No, bye? we got the bye, yeah, baby. You yeah, can't we, lose yeah, on yeah. your bye week. Oh, yeah, because I think we about to get it together. We, I think we about to. Well, I think we about to turn up just a little bit. I'm not expecting a lot, but I, I just want to say this about us, about the Jets. Mm -hmm. We have to turn our second half football into first half football. We Facts. don't get going until the second half, man. Word. You we can't, gotta can't start that in like the that. first half, and and I think we'll be good. But that it, I think we got our bye week at the correct time, so we could get to get get it together. And we got the Patriots coming up after that. So. Yeah, they just came off a win on on Texas, man. And I was hoping Texas could pull like, pull that off. Uh, high scoring game down there with the Browns with the Chargers, very 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 impressive. That was a hell of a game. I thought Herbert was going to shred them, but that defense they got. Uh, 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 plus uh, um, Baker May um, May May was Mayfield yeah. doing his thing now, and he he's still holding that team together. That, uh, Brown, that Browns team is they they serious, but, yeah, but that also that, let yeah. me know that that Chargers team is serious. Oh, yeah, no, that Browns yeah. defense is serious. Browns are good. They're good, they're good. Defensively, they are monsters. Well, I mean, it's, it's looking up, man. Like I said, we got the Broncos this week coming up. Y'all got to buy. Mm -hmm. So. Y'all get the rest. And 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 the final the final one, uh, Darnold finally came back down to earth. Uh, had uh, three interception game. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, that pretty much was how the piggy rides the back. Next game up tomorrow is uh Brady and uh, Eagles. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. That's that's worth a that's worth that's a cold tomorrow. beer. Oh, yeah. I wonder how that matchup got got Thursday night. They usually put division teams on know. Thursday night. Brady and the Eagles. That's crazy. Hey well, man, R.I.P. Eagles. I guess we. I guess y'all take it easy this week since y'all got off. Man. Yeah, you can't lose on your yeah. bye week, bitch. Hey, look, man. I might go outside and pick the people. Hey. How about that? Well, I want to say. Oh, before we go, I want to let y'all know y'all can go to JenkoApparel.com. You see the hat? We gonna have the apparel, the smoke talk T-shirts coming. Um, the shirts, you see it. That's how we coming. JenkoApparel.com. You can use the discount code Smoke Talk. Get 10% off anything on the website. We got a bunch of stuff coming now. Definitely preparing for a couple new moves. Everything. Like I said, the drink of the day. What is it, game? Vion Kanye. That's what it is. And uh, yeah, we in here, man. You know, Smoke Talk Podcast, man. This was a good one, fellas. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Great vibe, man. We're going up on 14 next week, season one. It's been great. And this episode right here has been sponsored by Vion Cognac and Jenko. This is so We out. I keep rolling, 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 man. Ain't no scripting. I keep going, 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 man. I'm so desperate. So I keep blowing, blowing, blowing up. All blessings. This is smoke session. This is smoke session. I keep rolling, rolling, rolling.